This video shows you how to enter employee tax information to ensure Xero calculates the correct tax to pay to HMRC. Let's take a look. Access the employee's record and select Taxes. If you're moving from another payroll software during the tax year and the employee is not an off-payroll worker, select the employee type as an existing employee. Then, enter information about the employee's taxes from your previous system. Add the tax code and if relevant, select the checkbox to calculate tax on a week one, month one basis. For emergency tax codes, the week one, month one basis is used and tax is calculated on the pay in each pay run rather than on cumulative totals paid to date. If you need to enter information relating to the existing employee's previous job, select has previous job tax information and then enter the total pay and total tax to date from their P45. Alternatively, select doesn't have previous job tax information for existing employees who don't need to enter details from a P45. It's important to remember that if you're moving payroll systems, you must enter current employment year-to-date information in the opening balances section of the employee record after completing the taxes and pension sections. If the employee is a new starter, select New Employee. Then, choose an employee statement about their job history from the three options. Select A if the employee has not been employed or received government benefits since the start of the current tax year. Select B if the employee has previous employment or government benefits since the start of the current tax year but this is their only current employment. Or select C if the employee is employed somewhere else or receives a state occupational pension alongside this employment. Then select whether you have previous job tax information. If you select has previous job tax information, enter the total pay and total tax to date from the P45. The amounts you enter will impact the tax zero calculates in future pay runs, so it's crucial to enter them correctly. Alternatively, select doesn't have previous job tax information if you don't have the employee's pay details from their last employer. Depending on your previous selection, zero completes the tax code and week one, month one check update the employee's tax code if it differs from the standard codes. For selection A, zero enters the standard tax code for the year. For selection B, zero enters the standard tax code for the year and selects the week one, month one checkbox. Zero enters a basic rate tax code for selection C and selects the week one, month one checkbox. After you've completed the employee tax information, click Add Student Loan to enter student loan information if relevant. Select the loan type, add the start date, and click Confirm to save the loan details. Finally, select the directorship checkbox if the employee is a company director. If you select the checkbox, enter the directorship start date. Then, choose the National Insurance Calculation Method from either Annual or Alternative. Select Annual if the Director's start date is part way through the current tax year. Once you've added all the employee tax details, click Save and Next. Zero receives P6 and P9 tax code notice changes from HMRC. Xero notifies you of the change so you can review the employee's tax information and update it if necessary.